I love getting questions about weather and science, and I got a great one today from Brent. He saw some strange looking clouds and asked, what does this? This is a really cool picture and you may not often see clouds that almost seem to have tentacles like these ones do. The first thing to remember is that weather here at Earth's surface is completely different than weather 20 to more than 30,000 feet high up. That high up, the temperatures are different, the humidity is different, and the winds are different. This obviously leads to different weather outcomes like these clouds. So the generic classification of the clouds that Brent sent us are cirrus clouds. Cirrus clouds are those thin, wispy clouds. They're composed of ice crystals and usually a sign of an approaching warm front. These cirrus clouds become a little thicker as that warm front gets closer. Obviously, the picture that Brent sent us shows us thinner clouds, so the front is actually a ways off. You'll notice also that these clouds sort of look like a jellyfish because of the streaks behind them. Those streaks and upward curl towards the front of the cloud classifies these as cirrus uncinus clouds. The National Weather Service says in Latin, this type of cloud is simply translated into a curl or tuft of hair with a hook. These usually happen at about 25 to 30,000 feet high. So that's what these clouds are, but Brent wanted to know what causes them. So here we go. So warm air arrives in the upper levels of the atmosphere before it arrives here at the surface. The moisture that comes with that is condensed into ice crystals, and those ice crystals interact with the winds and get stretched out into these curly, wispy formations. They're also known as mare's tails. There's an old saying that comes along with these clouds. Mare's tails and mackerel scales make lofty ships carry low sails. Mackerel scales are a type of mid-level cloud. Both of these usually appear before a front moves into the area. The National Park Service says neither of these cloud types bring rain or snow themselves. They do, however, precede an approaching front by a day or two, and that front could bring precipitation. So there you have it, a cool cloud that can sometimes help predict the weather. Reporting from home, I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.